It has some beautiful, beautiful countryside, beautiful mountains and lakes and rivers. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I would recommend anyone coming here and checking it out. It really is breathtaking. However, Welcome to YGZ Taiwan. Now, did you know that I lived in China for over seven years? And I've been living in Taiwan now for just about seven months. And I can tell you that I much prefer living in Taiwan compared to when I was living in China. Now, that's not to say that I didn't have a great time in China. I really enjoyed my time there, met some great people, did some great things, went to some amazing places. But hand on my heart or hand on my um, Friday the 13th t-shirt, <laughs> I can tell you that I definitely prefer living in Taiwan. And in this video, I'm going to tell you why. So one of the first things I want to talk about that makes me really appreciate living here in Taiwan compared to when I lived in China is that you don't get into any of these uh, silly political conversations or debates with the locals, you know. Uh, I lost track of how many times when I was in China that I'd be approached by someone, they'd ask me where I was from, and then it would just start getting into this whole like political conversation where they'd be saying, oh, Woman the jungle and Lehi and you know our China is so great. <laughs> Not once has that happened to me here in Taiwan. Nobody's approached me coming up to me and saying, Hey Nisha, Nisha Shamati founder and oh Yingu and oh woman to Taiwan Han Lehi. No, it doesn't happen. <laughs> Hasn't happened one time. But I can say it happened a lot of times in China and it just got annoying because you can't really express your political opinions there. If I would swing around and say, ah no, Zhongguo Bu Li Hai, then I would get into a lot of trouble. But it doesn't happen here in Taiwan and if someone did come up to me and say that, I'd probably agree with them, you know? So it seems like... You know, there's a little bit of humility in the Taiwanese people where they don't have to just go around parroting their country's propaganda and talking about how great their country is because they know how great their country is. Okay, next thing. I like to travel. I like to go all around the place if I can. Obviously right now we can't because of the pandemic, but you know, when I travel, I like to travel on a budget. I don't have like loads of money in my wallet or in my bank account. Whenever I travel, I always try to find the cheapest and uh, the most comfortable hotel rooms I can. And here in Taiwan, I can stay in any hotel I like as long as I have my passport or my uh, ARC alien residence card. I can stay in the cheapest hotel to the most expensive. It doesn't matter. I can stay in all of them. But in China, a lot of hotels, especially the cheaper ones, they don't allow foreigners to stay because when you stay in a hotel in China, you have to be registered with the police station, the local police department. But um, a lot of those uh, cheaper hotels, they're actually uh, not allowed to house foreigners. So you will be turned away from many hotels if you're a foreigner in China and you end up having to spend a little bit more money than you wanted to in the first place. So that's uh, one of the things that I really, really like about Taiwan is I'm not discriminated against here. I can just stay wherever the hell I like. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is my job. Now, this is more of a personal thing. You know, not everybody's going to agree with this, but uh, working, teaching ESL, English as a second language in Taiwan, is a lot better than teaching ESL in China. Uh, and that's simply because in Taiwan, you don't have to work weekends. It's a Monday to Friday job. 
That's one of the things that really annoyed me about the job in China was I was always working weekends, you know, and I had a lot of friends who weren't doing ESL teaching where they would have the weekends off. So I didn't really get to spend a lot of time with some of my friends. Um, but here in Taiwan, it's kind of like a normal job. You work Monday to Friday, you work less hours, there's less office hours. Obviously, you have to make a little bit of time to do preparation, but... Oh, look, we got a dog here. Hello. Oh, Tapusi Huanwo. Weishima Tapusi Huanwo. Dogs don't like me, I guess. So, yeah, anyway, um, you've got uh, less office hours. Like, obviously, you come in, you prepare your lessons, but, um, you know, you, you're not forced to stay in an office doing absolutely nothing, just waiting for your next class. You literally come in, you teach, and then you go home. And you've got the weekends off, which is great, which is really, really good. And I really, really, really appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, so another thing I noticed, and I could be wrong, it could just be from my own experience, uh, you know, but I feel like People here in Taiwan, they're, they're more friendly towards foreigners. Now, what I mean by that is, you know, if you approach somebody and you just ask them for directions or something like that, they're very willing to help you. They don't give you that sort of vacant, may banfa kind of look like, oh, there's no solution to your problem, or I don't even have a clue what you're talking about. Even if you approach them and fluently speak Chinese, they'll quite often give you that vacant look. And I'm not saying this happens all the time. I'm just speaking from my personal experience. And I feel like the people here in Taiwan have been a little bit more welcoming and a little bit more friendly towards, towards me as a foreigner. Like I said, this is my personal experience and uh, it's not going to be the same for everybody, right? Another great thing about being a foreigner uh, in Taiwan is Eventually, I can get myself a permanent residency here if I choose to. If I stay here long enough, if I contribute and work here for a long enough time, I could actually get a permanent visa here in Taiwan. That option, although it is available to some people in China, it is a very hard thing to obtain. But here, in Taiwan, any foreigner can get that status. They just have to work hard and uh, contribute and live here for long enough and you could become a uh, resident, permanent resident here in Taiwan. So that's a great thing and that's a, a good incentive for me to stay here longer if I choose to. I know that I can actually, you know, fit in more in society rather than being the constant outcast like you'll always be in China. Now I'm going to tell you uh, just some of the things that I, d I personally don't really like about uh, living in Taiwan. The first one is, um, and this is definitely personal, is, you know, this is not a reason why anybody shouldn't come here. Um, but I, unfortunately, uh, when I studied Chinese, Obviously, I did it when I was in, um, in China and uh, I took the route of studying simplified Chinese characters. And when I came here to Taiwan, wow, there's so many differences in the traditional characters compared to simplified. And I'm having just to relearn a lot of characters. So it's a little bit of extra study time that I really, really don't want to do. Um, but you have to if you move here to Taiwan and you want to read things, obviously. So that's one thing that I don't like. Another thing is um, I feel like I've had less chance to practice my Chinese here in Taiwan. Just for the simple reason, it feels like more people here want to speak English. Um, and most people, even in the service industry, they'll speak very good English. It's really strange, it really is, but there's this guy, he's in my uh, local 7-Eleven and uh, his English is fluent. Like, uh, yeah, I tried speaking to him in Chinese, but he won't have it. He just always speaks to me in English, which is fine. And actually, it's not in 7-Eleven, it's in Family Mart. Sorry, if you're watching, sorry I got where you work wrong, but yeah. So I've had less chance to practice my Chinese because most people just speak English to me. 
<laughs> oh, it's so annoying. Another thing, and I think this is fair, but um, Taiwan is quite a small country. Now that's not Taiwan's fault, but it is a small country and there's uh, obviously less less places to travel to if you compare it with um, a vast country like China. Now that's not necessarily a bad thing but it just means that there's less opportunity to travel to different places. However, Taiwan is extremely diverse. It has some beautiful, beautiful countryside, beautiful mountains and lakes and rivers. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I would recommend anyone coming here and checking it out. It really is breathtaking. However, there's just less opportunity than there is in China for travel. Another thing about living in Taiwan that could be a little off-putting to some foreigners is that the ESL teaching salary is a little bit lower than what you get paid in China. You can definitely make a lot more money uh, teaching English in China. So if making money is your main agenda and you don't want to live in a free, brilliant country like Taiwan and you'd rather go and live in some oppressive uh, dictatorship like China, then go ahead, go and live there if all you care about is money. Um, that being said, the pay in Taiwan is not bad. I make quite a good amount of money every month working as an English teacher here, but I could have definitely made a lot more if I decided to go back to China. Now, there are several similarities between living in Taiwan and living in China as a foreigner. Uh, I'm just gonna talk about one of them, which is the cost of living. Now, as a foreigner living in both Taiwan and China, you'll find that cost of living feels a lot cheaper than your home country, especially when you convert the money into um, your local currency back in your home country. If you're in the UK, Australia, Canada, the US, wherever you are, things here will feel a lot cheaper. Now, I'm not saying that they're super cheap for your average Taiwanese or Chinese person, but as a foreigner living in that country, it is super cheap, okay? Like, uh, for example, my rent here is 200 pounds a month for a really, really nice apartment. You could not get that living in a big city in the UK. The bills are super cheap. I mean, I think it's... Gosh, I don't even know how much it was, but when I paid that bill, I felt like I was robbing them. I felt like I was uh, cheating them somehow. <laughs> okay, uh, food, travel, that kind of thing. Super cheap, super cheap. The same thing can be said for China. It's super cheap living there as well. But I feel like I, I, I get more value for my money here in Taiwan. My apartment is roughly the same price as what my apartment was in China in many different apartments. And I feel like my one in Taiwan is a lot bigger, more space, in a nicer building, just uh, feels a lot nicer to me. But, uh, you know, it depends where you live, right? Uh, I guess if I was living in Taipei, it would be a lot more expensive for a lot less. So here in Taichung, it's uh, reasonably priced and the salary here is uh, pretty good as well. It's almost comparable to what you would make in Taipei as a teacher. So you really would be a bit silly to live in Taipei when you can just live in Taichung and head to Taipei at the weekends if you want to. It's so close anyway. What is it, like a 50 minute train journey on the high speed train? This sprinkler is gonna get me, isn't it? That's another video from YGZ Taiwan. Don't forget to like the video, comment on the video, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. It helps me out a lot. Also, you can check out my Twitter, Instagram, and my Patreon, which are all on my channel's banner. So go and check that out. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now. 